Hi, so today I would like to make an update on the latest development with Dragonfly, our precise positioning system using um, only one camera um, and using computer vision. So what we've done here is we've mounted a small camera on a Raspberry Pi. This is a mini Raspberry Pi and we're sending that um, via Wi-Fi, although it can also be uh, via a cellular connection, to a server, a remote server, that is doing the processing. So here, I'm going to move around, you know, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm moving, and the, um, you know, the location of, the, of this camera is updated on the screen. So this is what I'm talking about when we say the uh, remote processing. So the camera is being captured, sent to the server, analyzed, and then we have the real-time location in 3D. Uh, right now the display is in 2D, but I'm going to show you later in 3D. Uh, so what this does, it does two things for us. Uh, first of all, the fact that we, uh, we're outsourcing the processing power on a remote server um, gives us a lot more um, processing power. We can, you know, have a much more accurate location and also work with multiple cameras at the same time. So we can have multiple vehicles um, that are sending this, uh, this stream on the server and we get their location. Second, it allows us to work with any camera, okay? So as long as you're sending um, H.264 format, uh, you can have a camera mounted on your robot or on your vehicle, on um, you know anything you want, send that to our server via H.264 and you'll get something similar to uh, what I'm, I'm showing now on the screen. Now, you know, what we've done before um, is um, you know, update, uh, like send some, um, upload some videos of, uh, of this technology working um, on different uh, different vehicles. So here are an example. Um, you know, we have uh, this vehicle working on a, um, a vacuum cleaner. You know, so that we can have the exact the exact places in the in the room where the vacuum cleaner has cleaned up the, the dust. We have also this can, that can be mounted on a drone, uh, so we can have the very precise position of a drone in 3D, or again, we can open it up to any vehicle, robot, or um, any other gadget that would have one camera that would stream the H.264 uh, video, and we would process the location in 3D with that, using Dragonfly. So what I've been showing so far is a display of um, the position of the camera in a 2D floor plan. So um, that you've, you've been seeing the, uh, the blue dot moving around, but what I would like to show right now is the position of the same camera in a 3D referential. Now this referential is relative, so it could work anywhere. You could take this camera, bring it anywhere, and, and do this, uh, this experiment. So I'm starting here the, uh, the positioning and when I'm moving the camera, I am seeing in real time the, uh, the position of the camera moving. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop the positioning and we can, uh, when we look at the screen, we have the exact path that the camera has been has been taking, and we had that in uh, in real time. So that's a another way of uh, displaying the the results again in a relative coordinates that could work really anywhere in the world.